Well, first of all, we want to know, was there ever a black civil rights movement? And if there was, what was it? Okay. Uh, we did, we are having our civil rights movement right now in the form of the, the modern civil rights movement that is talking very forward and it's being there is being heard. So you're, so you're saying that like while I'm living in Brazil right now, I'm experiencing you're, the civil rights where, movement of yeah, Brazil. Yeah, that's what you're seeing now. Really? That's what you're Why? Seeing What's now. the proof? The proof is what you see on the streets, the, the, what you see on TV. So you see this resistant movement that everybody's talking about black issues now. If you would be in Brazil for, if you would be in Brazil in 2000, and, in 2000 mm -hmm. that would be another Brazil. Mm -hmm. A Brazil where black people would never dream to have all their kids going to college. Mm -hmm. So what we are living in Brazil now is the 50s and the 60s in the United States. Really? Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Not that in the 50s and the 60s in Brazil we didn't have people talking about it. We had, but we have much more resistance from the whites to understand that they need to hear us because that was the second or the, the, the first and the second generation of this new arrived immigrants that came to, 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 to mostly uh, take over the place of the black people in the fields. You understand? Mm -hmm. So these people were very resistant. Now we are in another generation that is actually talking about th there were a lot of black people doing a lot of good work mm -hmm. in the 60s and the 50s. Uh, we have great people, great people. I can't say Abdias Nascimento, Milton Santos, Jurema Vernet. You have an Conceição Evaristo. These people are years mm. working, like years light years just working ahead of us mm -hmm. but they never had the space on tv to talk about something mm -hmm. there was never a facebook where people just like you know we're we're <laughs> today there is a video that is becoming viral because <laughs> like because of something that a big tv broadcast in brazil just did shit well let's actually let's talk shit. about that because shit. i think that's even a, a good example <laughs> Stop, sorry, she, let's talk she, about she. that. The, I mean, I think that's even a that's a good example. Let, let's make this connection. So, I think two days ago, Global released the preview of its newest nine o'clock novella. Now, in Brazil, what happens? Global is like there's multiple television stations, but Global is like the only one that really matters. <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and. What happens is Global will release a 7 o'clock novella, 8 o'clock novella, and a 9 o'clock novella. And its new 9 o'clock novella is set in... Bahia! Bahia. And Bahia. The black state, the darkest the state. Is the blackest state in Brazil. Wakanda forever. <laughs> that's our Wakanda. That's, our, that's what... <laughs> not in that sense of the country, where the black people are. So tell us about this new novella and well, why it's so strange I'll tell you right now what just happened like, just listen to me or follow me <laughs> <laughs> what happened is this new novella is, um, is set in Bahia which is the state where you think about black people in Brazil you think about Bahia but the whole cast is white hello and I was like <laughs> what? and then I did a video yesterday <laughs> Like, not yesterday, tonight, like yeah. 2 a.m. I finished this 2 a.m. And I did a video showing a state very white in Brazil called Santa Catarina. In, the, in this state, I put all the characters black. A novela vai contar a história de duas irmãs que disputam o título de rainha da festa da Oktoberfest. E no meio dessa confusão toda, vai ter um primo que vai chegar da Alemanha, que foi mandado para fazer um intercâmbio pelos pais, e esse primo vai basicamente fazer com que as duas disputem o amor dele, e vai cada vez mais fomentar que essa novela, essa trama fique cada vez mais apimentada. E as pessoas estão tipo, o que? As pessoas estão tipo, às vezes as pessoas estão tipo, eu estou assistindo, porque eu recebo muitas mensagens agora, porque isso está indo em viral agora, e as pessoas estão tipo, isso não faz Oh, I understand what you mean. Because I feel like this state is totally Germanized. A lot of Germans, a lot of Germans and, and when Polish. And when you go to the south of Brazil, the, it, it is the white, basically the whitest part of Brazil. Yeah, and white to the extent that the people look European. Yeah, because these people, they came 
in order to substitute or to take over the place of the black people. So we were supposed to get the, that land, but then Brazil <laughs> decided, it's true, okay? Wow. It's true. Okay. We were supposed to get that land, mm -hmm. but the Europeans, the Italians, they came and they received And we're given land, land for and very free, or was it free or free, like? That was free land, a lot of free land tickets. The Brazilian government paid the tickets for the white people to come and gave them land, land, land. It doesn't matter if it was one hectare, two hectares, they got land. But let's, let's, going back to that, so imagine if this, this novella had been released 20 years ago, how would black people have reacted? Because right now we have this, would, this viral video going, by, by, video going viral, so we have this online space so where people can react to things immediately. So before our groups, they were very disconnected to each other, like they, somebody in Bahia wouldn't listen to what I'm saying in Rio or in Sao Paulo. And now we have the internet, so now we are like getting together. Now we know common names such as Djamila Ribeiro, everybody knows. In the South, internet has changed the way Brazil portrays itself. So now black people are like just not watching anymore. It's like, I'm, I'm not gonna watch this if, I, if, if it's not showing. And uh, Global and other TV broadcasters in Brazil, they are seeing that things are changing. And they're changing for good. And I always say that to the Brazilian white middle class family, watch out because in the next two generations you will need to buy washing machines and <laughs> dishwashers. dishwashers because we are not creating the next generation of black people who are going to serve the white people in this country. Mm -hmm. And this is revolution.